All right, welcome back to HornetSports.com. I'm Brian Brugger. Beginning our position breakdown today, we'll take a look at the offensive line, joined by offensive line coach Bill Averoni. And coach, a few days in so far, what are you learning about the guys? Well, uh, we're, we're trying to raise the bar for everybody. Uh, we're demanding that they get better. Uh, the faster, the better it is. The young guys are really working hard. It's, uh, they're over, overburdened with a lot of mental stuff, so it's, it's hard to move quite as fast as they like. But I like our group. We, got a good, we have a nice group. You have four returning starters and a fifth that, that played significantly last year, started a couple games at the end. As a coach, that's got to be easier for you coming in, knowing pretty much what your lineup's going to be. Yeah, uh, it, uh, from the standpoint of, you know, they understand uh, better about the offense than, say, a guy, newer guy. But as I challenge them, I mean, they got to play better than they played last year. And that's so I, what they did last year was good, not good enough. Uh, if we're going to win a championship, those four guys and Casey, uh, they got to play better. They got to raise their bar. On the outside, you've got two big offensive tackles. You've got Alexander Milanovic, Lars Hansen, both back for their third year with the team. How have they developed from the time you got here to where they are now? Well, they're both, they both care about being as good a football player as they can be. And that, to me, that's the most important thing. If, if, a, if a young man cares about, with some passion about getting better, uh, that's really a plus, you know. And so they both have that feeling about their game and they want to get better. They're trying to absorb everything and um, they're, we're lucky to have them, yeah. But talk about some of the newer guys, the guys we didn't see last year, a lot of guys redshirted. Who, who do you like coming up? Yeah, we have a good young uh, group of second year players who redshirted, you know, with Rajay uh, at right tackle, Pue at left tackle, uh, Lake at left guard, Kyle at center guard. Uh, so we have a good group of guys there that, that They've had a lot of spring practice. They, they've had a lot of fall practice. They've been the show team a lot, so they, they kind of get away from our offense. But the spring was good for them because they got a lot of reps and uh, they're getting better. And, uh, you know, there's a number of them that are going to travel. We've talked about the tackles here. You had a chance to coach one of the best tackles ever in professional football, Malter Jones. Last week, a chance for you to get away and, and see his induction to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. How was that weekend to see one of your guys get in there? Well, as I told the guys here, uh, the best part about my coaching career is the fact that I've had great relationships throughout the years. And that was a special group of guys that I worked with. All five of them were just real, truly, one, they were professional players, but good guys, good people. Walter Hutch, Steve Hutchinson, Robbie Tobeck, Chris Gray, and Sean Lockler, Lockler, who was a rookie that time. So to go to the Super Bowl with those, two, those five guys, that was something special, really special. And of course, Walter Jones, and in my estimation, Walter Jones and Steve Hutchison are the best two football players I've ever been around in my life, or even seen.